Well, the Boys and Girls Club here in Jefferson City, Missouri has been helping kids for the past 20 years. Our mission has evolved in our component of academics to really start to move into the 21st century learning environment where we are taking advantage of STEM and technology, very hands-on project-based learning. We are finding that our kids are responding very well to that kind of learning environment. Our STEM program is very diverse, but one of the exciting components uh, that we are moving toward is using a 3D printer. We are very excited to be collaborating with Becoming 3D and Robo3D to bring this technology to Jefferson City. What excites me about having this 3D printer in our um, program is just the exposure that we have for our members and also giving them an the opportunity to experience something that otherwise they wouldn't have the opportunity to. Uh, no cost to the parents, no cost to the community. I'm really excited to be back in my hometown working with the Boys and Girls Club and bringing this technology to their members. We're super appreciative of our partner Robo3D that's enabling us to bring this project together in conjunction with the Boys and Girls Club. When we started Robo3D years ago, we knew how important 3D printing would be to education, but to actually see our machines have a profound impact in these kids' lives at the Boys and Girls Club is extremely rewarding to us. The 3D printer is really showing our kids the possibilities of their mind, and it's really getting them very excited about STEM. I thought it was really interesting, and I like how multiple people can use it, and it's not just like for adults or like scientists. I was very scared of the complexity of it, but after seeing the demonstration, very, very simple and easy, and I'm excited to have the kids use it. The future is endless. This gives our members opportunity, to, again, to be exposed, uh, to really develop a, a skill set that, again, is going to help them to, uh, to accomplish success in the future, whether it's at a trade school or a four-year institution, and uh, be prepared for the job market the country is facing right now. <laughs>